Good morning, class. Um, this week in English, we are going back to our paragraph writing. Um, our writing prompt, as you learned yesterday, correlates with your um, guided reading books for this week, which are the biographies of William and Ellen Craft. Okay? So the prompt for our paragraph this week is the question, why do you think William and Ellen risked being caught and punished in order to escape slavery. So yesterday you should have had a brainstorming list of three to five reasons why you think they did this, okay? So today we're gonna take your brainstorming ideas and we're gonna turn them into an outline for our five sentence paragraph. Now, because we're answering a very text specific question with our paragraph, we actually wanna take this question Okay, and we want to rewrite the question into the topic sentence. And there's many, many, many different ways that we can do that. So I wanna give you some examples. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to pause and write one down because you like it and you wanna use it as your topic sentence, that is totally fine. I am totally fine with that, okay? So, I'm going to write down some examples. I'm using a piece of paper because I can only fit one topic sentence here. And I want to show you many different ways to reword this question into a topic sentence. Okay. Like I said, if there's one that you like, pause the video and you may use it. So, here we go. First choice of a topic sentence. So, why do you think William and Ellen risked being caught and punished in order to escape slavery? First of all, I don't want to say there are many reasons. Here are the reasons why. These are the reasons. Those are the reasons. I don't want to say that, okay? Don't tell me what you're about to tell me about. See how that doesn't even make sense? Just talk about it. So, I'm going to take this question part off, the why do you think, and I'm going to start here. William and Ellen... And I'm going to say William and Ellen, and I'm going to add their last name in case the person reading my paragraph does not know who I'm talking about. Craft risked being caught. and punished in order to escape slavery. Now, I can just take the question part off and just write the rest of it as a sentence, as a statement. I can totally 100% do that. Okay, so the question originally was, why do you think William, William and Ellen risked being caught and punished in order to escape slavery? And all I did was take off the why do you think, and it created this sentence, William and Ellen Craft risked being caught and punished in order to escape slavery. Boom, there's the topic sentence. Now, you could also say... You could re rearrange it and you could say, in order to escape slavery, comma, because I'm re rearranging, I'm taking this in, putting it at the beginning. So I want to put a comma, a pause. William and Ellen, sorry, I'm writing fast and sloppy. Craft risked being caught and punished. 
Notice I don't need to say there are many reasons or here are the reasons why I think. I don't I don't need to say that, okay? That I don't need to say those things. My topic is the the fact that they risked being caught and punished to escape slavery, okay? Um let me see. If you really wanted to talk about the fact that you think there's different reasons, you could say that um, you could say this sentence over again and then at the end um, you could just add for many different reasons, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think that you need it, okay? These, to me, are the best choices of topic sentences, and you should notice that I literally eliminated this beginning question portion of um, our prompt and was able to copy it to make a strong topic sentence. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in that top one as my number one choice. William, so if you wanna write yours on yours, on your hamburger outline while I'm writing mine, remember to write small. I have a hard time with that sometimes. William and Ellen Craft risked being caught and punished in order to escape, oh, got to go down here, slavery. And now you have your topic sentence, okay? I didn't say there are many reasons why William and Ellen Craft is being caught. I didn't say here are the reasons why. Um, I think they, no, 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 no. I took the question, the prompt, and I <sighs> rearranged it into a statement and created my topic sentence. Now, before I even begin on the next portion, and you might want to do this as well, I'm going to go ahead and write my transition words on my three detail sentences. Now, we've talked about this before, and I include a list of transition words for you. So, do you have to use the simplistic transition words that I'm using? No, you do not. You can pick whatever transition words you want as long as they make sense with your writing. I usually stick to the general beginner's transition words. First, next, last. Now, transition words is the beginning of a sentence, so it should be capitalized and have a comma directly after it. So first, next, last. These are our three detail sentences. Detail sentences should always have a comma or a transition and a comma at the beginning. Okay, now this is where you're going to have to come up with your own from your list that you brainstormed yesterday. Okay, I'm not going to write in uh, detail sentences here because I want to hear your ideas. I don't want to hear my ideas rewritten. Okay, but what I want to remind you about is that when you're writing these detail sentences, you have a transition word that is capitalized. So that's the beginning of the sentence. You do not capitalize whatever word is coming after this comma. Okay, it's not the beginning of the sentence. So William and Ellen Craft risk being caught and punished in order to escape slavery. First, they... Let me try to think of something that's not even the right answer. 
That's hard. First, they were gamblers and often took risks. That's not true at all. One of their owners was like that, but that's not true at all. But I want to give that as an example. Okay, so you're going to just tell me the three reasons why. You don't need to say, I think, blah, 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 or I believe, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to say all that. Just tell me your reasons that you came up with on your brainstorm list. Your brainstorming list probably has more than three reasons on it. So pick your top three, the ones you think that are the most likely reasons or your favorite reasons, okay? And those are going to go in your three detail sentences. All right. So what I do want to talk about with you um, is the closing sentence. So we have our topic sentence. We have our closing sentence, okay? So our topic sentence is William and Ellen Craft risk being caught and punished in order to escape slavery. Okay. Your closing sentence can be one of two things. You can restate your topic sentence. So kind of how we restated this question. We could take this topic sentence and word it a little differently. And that's our closing. Or... Um, your closing sentence can include thoughts and feelings of the writer, which would be yourself, on the topic, not on anything, on the topic. So if I wanted to do um, thoughts and feelings, okay, then I could say William and Ellen Craft <coughs> were very clever and brave, which helped them escape slavery. Okay? My feelings are that they're clever and they're brave. That's my opinion. So that's where my feelings come in. I wouldn't just say, I think they're cool. I think they're brave. No, you want to make it a very clear and strong closing. Restate your topics, William and Ellen Craft. Okay? William... And Ellen Craft, okay, were very clever. Try to remember what I said a minute ago. William and Ellen Cla Craft were very clever and brave. comma, which helped them escape slavery. Now, if you like that closing sentence, you may use it. If you want to change it, tweak it a little bit to be yours, you can do that. If you want to write your own whole new closing sentence, you can do that too. What I am telling you is that because we have not written a paragraph that responds to a text question about something we're reading, I'm helping you out with your topic and your closing because your topic should um, be a restatement of the question, okay, in sentence form, and your closing should restate your topic, but also you can add in your own thoughts and opinions. Like, I think they're very clever and brave. So should you choose to use my topic in closing? Sure, that's fine. Okay, if you want to change them a little bit, that's great. If you want to write your own, that's great. But remember what I said about don't be, don't use words like, these were the reasons why, those were the reasons why. I don't need you to tell me that. Okay, I already know those are the reasons why. Okay, the things that are going to be unique to your paragraph are going to be your three details. Those three reasons. All right, go work on finishing your hamburger outline and have fun.